we will totally have to catch up with you yes, and the yes. bunny later. We'll find a time after the after we finish with the compression forum. I guess um, it's eight thirty one. Um, Ken, should I should I start? Oh yeah, go for it. Okay, what a pleasure to um, welcome everyone to the Stanford. 2021 compression workshop. So welcome. Uh, there's so many of you. Last we checked, we had uh, 363 registrants from all over the globe. And so many different exciting demographics represented that include, um, you know, faculty and postdocs and graduate students and people from industry and even some non-negligible fraction of high schoolers. So it's going to be really fun. Uh, this workshop will comprise talks and panels and a poster session and even a theater rehearsal and a social hangout. So um, we've got fantastic speakers lined up, again, from all the demographics and levels of seniority Today, we have uh, Idoya Ochoya of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and Sebastian Diorowicz of Silesian University of Technology. Jose Ignacio Latore of the Center for Quantum Technologies. Debbie Leong of the University of Waterloo. Yanis Andreopoulos of iSize Technologies. Kidar Tatawadi of Wave One, Christos Bampis and Lucas Kosula, Netflix, Roshan Pravakar of Fremont High School, and a whole group of inspiring high schoolers uh, that you're going to get to meet from our STEM to STEM program that I'll quickly, I'll briefly touch on in, in one of the next slides. And tomorrow, an even more, uh, or even bigger list of spectacular speakers, Sarah Hooker of Google and Jonathan Frankel of MIT, Berevin Isik of Stanford, Sanjeev Arora of Princeton, Emily LaProust of Twist Biosciences, Janani Balasubramanian of Stanford, Marcus Meister of Caltech, Lisa Yamada of Stanford, Rashmi Vinayak of CMU, Carnegie Mellon, Gonzalo Navarro of the University of Chile, Yanis Contoyanis from Cambridge, Jan Colet of Facebook, Jonathan Dutan of HBO in Stanford, and Andre Morkin of Netflix. Our first panel will be dedicated to compression and streaming for live theater. Uh, comprising the panelists Devin Bauer of UCLA, Marike Gaguri of the Palo Alto Children's Theater, Micaela Murray and Michael Rao and Keith Winstein of Stanford. And that's going to be today, uh, this afternoon, 2.30 to 3.30. And our second panel will be tomorrow dedicated to DNA-based storage technologies. Um, in, we're going to have Udija Mienkovic of Urbana-Champaign and Henry Lee of Kern Systems, Danielle Hadash, I believe the Hebrew pronunciation of Twist Biosciences and Sergei Yechanin of Microsoft, moderated by our very own Shulham Chandak. That's going to take place tomorrow at 10.45. Our poster session today, um, this afternoon, 1.15, 2.15, uh, really interesting, again, uh, highly diverse in terms of the affiliations, list of posters um, on Gather Town, and um, there's even going to be a poster prize that we will announce um, tomorrow's closing remarks 
compliments of Netflix. And you have, um, you should have received instructions. There are also instructions on our website for how to join uh, the poster session and later the social uh, gathering session on Gather Town. The um, theater rehearsal that you're going to um, see today, uh, this afternoon after the panel. So we have a panel on um, technologies for compression and streaming of theater. And then you will be seeing a demonstration of a really exciting recent uh, platform called StageCast. It will be used by um, three actors and a director, all from Stanford, so Ayana Washington, J.J. Kapoor, and Sam Howell Peterson uh, are the actors, uh, directed by their professor, Michael Rao, and it's going to be um, an open rehearsal. You'll have a, they're going to use this uh, StageCast platform that we will talk about in the panel, um, but we're going to just see them through your current uh, platform, Zoom, and you'll also be able to ask them questions. And it, it's going to be actually a real rehearsal toward their performance next Saturday on March 6th. So those who will be interested, um, we will give you the details for how you can attend the actual performance. We have, um, in the, the last thing we're gonna do in this workshop is hang out socially. Um, the end of yes of tomorrow's talk, uh, tomorrow's um, program at four. Um, there's going to be drinks that you're going to bring to each their own, and we're going to hang out and converse in groups, and or however we're going to want to self-organize. And if all else fails and you find nothing to talk about. You can also sing and play an instrument and tell jokes and so on. So I hope uh, you, I, I hope you all got a chance to look at the program. I didn't go through it in detail now, uh, but there is something for everyone. It's, um, you know, we have high schoolers through undergrads and grads and postdocs and senior researchers and practitioners and faculty of all levels of seniority. So, um, and we kind of made a point of interleaving everyone. Um, so to, to so, somehow, you know, mix things up and make things interesting. Um, the talks range from the theoretical to the applied from academia uh, to industry. And there's going to be something for techies and non-techies, including if you're into the arts and the theater, compression of all conceivable data types uh, from multimedia through genomic and artistic and theater, tabular, unstructured, neural nets, neuroscientific, even quantum data will be represented and um, traditional and less traditional storage media, uh, most notably DNA and, and related um, technologies. And of course, we're going, going to touch on and intersect with many different, many additional fields beyond compression, quantum information and computation, genomics, human perception, theater and the arts, modeling, learning, hardware, neuroscience, medicine, chemistry, data authentication, and much, much more. I'll quickly say this has been uh, sort of this event is organized under the auspices of our Stanford Compression Forum, which is founded in 2015 to facilitate research and collaborations and expedite the transfer of research into technology um, supply academia with timely research problems, support learning and training in the field, and do outreach. So um, we do even recently we had um, some, well, 
we have the workshop today, we have seminars, um, we're working on curricular development and outreach. One example for really exciting recent outreach initiative is the STEM to STEM program, the H in STEM standing for the humanities and the human element. This upcoming summer will be uh, the third run and we are looking for uh, passionate rising and graduating high school seniors. As well, this year is also community college students and we really care about just people who are passionate to incorporate the H into the STEM in really cool research projects. And so that's what we're looking for in the applications. We're not gonna be checking for you know, GPAs and SAT scores and so on. So if you know of any um, sort of highly passionate and deserving students, please let them know. We're still accepting applications until next Friday. And so finally, I'm going to um, just thank sincerely Shubham Chandak and Paul Kit Tandon, who have been working tirelessly to put, to put together this uh, exciting program. And Susan, who's been supporting them equally tirelessly from the administrative side. Netflix is um, supporting us and sponsoring. And so we thank them sincerely as well. And we thank, of course, all of the speakers and panelists and poster presenters and performers who are going to make this the exciting event that this is going to be. And I thank you guys for being here with us. So let's uh, get started with this exciting program. I guess I'm going to turn it over to 